Hey guys, I am back to film my wrap up for the Spring Into Reading a Thon that was hosted by Completely Melanie and Reads Readers. This occurred from the 18th through the 24th of March, and I had a lot of fun. And I read more than I anticipated, which is normal for me. And the camera is crooked ish. Oh well, it's early. Um, so. The funny thing with me and readathons is anytime that I have one that's like during like a full week span, um, I do great on the weekends and I do terrible on the weekdays because since I work, when I get home I'm tired so I don't usually want to read. So most of this was actually read over the weekend. So yeah. <laughs> so let's just get going. Um, these are really in no particular order. Um, if you want to know what they were for, um, then you can definitely check out my original video that I talked about the TBR, but I'm just going to kind of run down them because, yeah. So um, one of the last ones that I actually read was Magical Girl Raising Project Volume 1. Um, I'm not going to be continuing this one, so I'm going to probably give this volume to somebody else um, just because it's just it's not it's not for me there's just way too much death in this thing I I should have known it's like they were talking about it's basically about magical girls who um, like like in this world like if you play this game you can be selected as being a magical girl but basically whoever blessed them with their powers determined that there were too many magical girls so they basically said, hey, we're going to start killing off magical girls. So basically, all these like good deeds you do give you like candy. And like at the end of the week or whatever, whoever has the least candy gets killed. <laughs> I was like, hmm. But they're like based off of like Snow White and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I'll give it a shot. But yeah, it's just way too dark for me. So I'm just not going to finish that. And then the next ones that I read, the cat knocked the pile everywhere, is the fifth volume of Laid Back Camp. This one is just continues to be adorable. I mean, it's, it's girls camping. I mean, there's not really much else to say. It's just a lot of cute girls going camping. So that continues to be adorable. Um, the next one is the first and second volumes of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, Familia, Chronicles, Episode Lie. Oh my gosh, I love this girl. Like, I knew I liked her, but I didn't realize just how much I like her. You don't get, like, she's the one that likes Belle from the bar, and you don't really get much from her, like, reading the original Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, but she's pretty cool. She's pretty bad. So, both of these women are very badass. So this was very cool. Um, this is basically um, a story of Lai and they, like, basically the, there's like a casino that basically is like one of the big wig casinos and you can't really fight them, even the guilds can't fight them because they're just too powerful, but the guy is a terrible human being and basically just wants to kidnap pretty girls so he keeps taking all these pretty girls so basically one girl got taken and her parents like the guy got like like basically she was a prize for a gambling debt so um they are trying to rescue her so they go undercover to try and rescue her and it's just a lot of fun so i'm very much looking forward to the third volume because oh that ending I need more, but I don't think it comes out for like May, June, something like that. But that one is really good. I love, is it wrong to pick, pick up girls in a dungeon? I need to get the rest of the side stories because I'm having way too much fun. And I'm kind of wondering, like I don't usually read no light novels, but I'm wondering oh, if I should read the light novel for is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon just because I love the manga so much. And I'm not quite sure like if I'm missing stuff because I'm not reading the light novels. So if anyone like has read the light novels, let me know. I'm really curious. Okay, the cat has completely destroyed the piles. You go there, you go there. Okay, 
So the next one I read was Yankees, the first volume. This is super cute. I mean, it's just like street cats, but then they're like personified by humans, and it's just really... I mean, like, th there's a perfect example. Nothing like a great box, cat in box. I mean, that it's just so quintessential cat. It's awesome. So the next one that I read was, and this was actually, I think this was the last one I had to finish because I had so much trouble finishing this. It's the Hatsume Miku, um, like, mix. It's just basically a bunch of, like, the stories of Hatsume Miku. Um, it's fine. I guess I don't like Hatsume Miku that much that this is that interesting to me. I will admit they have some really pretty color pictures like in the middle of each section, I guess. So those are awesome. But I was just kind of having trouble getting through this thing. So there's that. Um, the next one that I read is Milky Way Hitchhiking. This is super cute. Um, this is also in full color which is amazing and it's basically about this cat who just like travels and his interactions with all the random people that he comes across but it's it's really cute I need to get the next volume it's just very expensive because well I mean it's full color so I guess it makes sense but like it's 30 bucks like I got lucky and got this for 10 bucks at an anime convention so I don't know if I'm ever gonna get that lucky again and the next big boy I read was Kimono friends, welcome to Japari Park. This is just basically fluff. Um, it was fine. I actually had trouble getting through this one too, just because it was just kind of like the same repetition over and over again. Like girl meets girl who's trying to be like a, a park guide meets all these random different animal girls and hilarity ensues, but some of it was just kind of odd. So I don't know probably won't keep that one, but it was okay. I just don't know if I'm ever going to read it again. So let's get into the big things. Oh wait, nope, missing one more. Those are all like the single volumes or big omnibuses, I guess, that I read. So the last one that I read is a quintessential quintuplets. Um, I didn't like this one that much. Um, there's the girls. They're just so mean to this kid and the guy who's trying to teach them. And frankly, I don't really care for the guy who's trying to teach them because he's also kind of eh. So I have the second volume, so I'm going to read it for um, another readathon, which you guys will see the info for shortly. Um, and I'll just, uh, based upon those two, I'll decide if I want to keep getting it or not. But after the first volume, I'm not so inclined to continue so we'll see okay and these are the ones that were the big series that I was finishing off so first off I read two three four and five of dream and sun trust me I tried to get more to read for this readathon but none of my bookstores had them in stock so I ended up having to buy them off Amazon but they're not gonna come in time so is what it is but Dream and Sun is super adorable. I mean, it's basically um, this girl who lives in a shared apartment, I guess, with a bunch of guys. Um, this is the landlord of the place. Um, this is my sweet cinnamon roll baby Zen. I love him. And I, after what happened in the end of it with my poor baby Zen boy, I wanted to see what happens. Um, it's cute. I mean, it's... I'm just having, I'm having fun with the characters, like the whole like couple aspect of it, I'm kind of like eh on basically because she's not with someone I really care about. Well, I mean, he's fine, but I don't like their relationship together. You'll know what you mean if I read it. Um, but, and there's a better choice for him, frankly, but he's too stupid to figure it out. But okay, I'll just keep, stop with that. So anyways, um, it's only 10 volumes, so I really want to see how it ends. So I did end up ordering 6, 7, and 8 from Amazon, so they will be here, just not in time to finish the readathon, which is fine. I'm kind of burned a little bit on manga, so I'll probably take a few days to read a book or something and not read manga. Um, 
but there is that. It does end in 10 volumes, so it's not like super, super long. And then speaking of super, super long, let's get these in order. Okay. So, I had said I was going to read one, two, and three of Yuna of the Dawn. This is an amazing story. This girl is fabulous. So she's a princess and basically she's got her faithful guard and she cherishes her time she spends with her cousin, a uh, child. But then on her 16th birthday, tragedy strikes her I guess it's not a spoiler. Her father's killed, and then her and the guard go on the run. <sighs> Loved one's murder? Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but it's in the first volume, so sorry if it is. But it's basically her trying to um, find the four dragons that are going to help her take back the kingdom. So there is volume one. Volume 2, Volume 3, The Cat's on Volume 4, and Volume 4. So then I read up to Volume 4 and said, OMG, I can't not read more of this. I need more now. So I don't really have a Barnes & Nobles near me, which is the one who currently has the Fizz sale going on, but I did buy them offline. So then I bought offline and read Volume 5. Volume 6, and Volume 7. So good. So good. That story arc for, like, I don't know, what, 5 and 6? No, 6 and 7? Such a good story arc. Like, it ended nicely, so I'm, like, not, like, screaming to get the next volume. I mean, I still want the next volume, but I basically finished off a story arc, so it's not like I'm, like, in the middle of a cliffhanger where I'm going to die. But this is such a good manga and I am definitely going to pick up some more of it. Um, if you want like a really, this is a really good strong female lead, like definitely, like oof, what she does in volume seven. Is that what she did it? Girl's badass, that's all I can say. Um, so yeah, it was just really, really good. So. Definitely recommend that one as a good, like, shoujo fantasy, if that's what you're into. I'm, like, trying to find more, like, recommendations for shoujo fantasy, because I'm definitely having fun with those. So if you guys have any recommendations, definitely let me down, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up more. Um, I'm going with my cousins shopping the first weekend in April, um, and they have a bunch of Barnes & Nobles near them. So I'm definitely going to be picking up some more of, you know, of the dawn for that Viz buy to get the third free sale. And we'll see if I'm impatient enough that I have to go get more offline or if I can just wait till I see them in like two weeks. We'll see. But anyways, that is everything that I read for the spring into readingathon. I had a lot of fun with this readathon. I love readathons. You guys know this. Um, so anyways, I will see you guys later for the next video. Everyone have a very good rest of the day. Bye.